Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Okay, so the first thing you need to start off with is moisturizer. Okay, so step one complete. Yeah! Okay, um... So now on to the actual look. Um, what I do is because I like these colors to be bright. Because I like these colors to be bright, um, I use a white kind of like eyeliner to coat my eye as a base. When I'm done with my makeup. What I what I do is I use Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and it's like really translucent even though it's kind of like pinky and I'm almost out of it I'm so sad but um I found out like early on that if you put this over your eyelids before you start the makeup or sometimes I forget so I put it over the makeup it actually helps it stay on very long and it doesn't really crease so good thing to have if you don't have primer so um the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna get real close and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and my light's weird I'm sorry I'm on my back um I'm gonna Fix my eye or use this as a base. So I'm just gonna put it all over, like just glob it on there. I was gonna say stick it on there, whatever. Glob it on there, underneath and on top. And I always like my eyeshadows. I look like a monster. <sighs> I always like my eyeshadows to go underneath my eye. Um, I think it looks really cool like that. So I always put some underneath as well. And you just. You're gonna blend it out, so and it gets stuck on my finger. I don't use any blending tool or anything, or blending brush. So if you hear that scratching sound, that's my freaking chihuahua scratching the back of my mirror. I'm using one of those big body mirrors. So anyway, so you're gonna go ahead and blend it out. This pencil that I use, it's where is it? It's the um, Love My Eyes brand in white, 808 number 808. It's eyeliner, soft crown. I've had it for years and I've never really used it. And then I just started using it because of Steph Busta. I love her, and she always primes her eye with with milk by something and I can't remember and so yeah so I was like hey I have this white eyeliner I know I had liner let me try it out and it works really well so all right so now that you're blended make sure it's blended in correctly perfectly this dang dog okay so now that it's blended it's gonna look like that sorry my lighting is like really horrible okay so Step one's complete, or step two, whatever. Um, so yeah, so when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start off using the actual colors in my Pop Green Eyes palette, I guess. It's, um, it's by Physicians, Physicians brand, Physicians blend, something like Physicians something. Um, it's called Shimmer Strips Eye or Custom Eye Enhancing Shadow and Liner Pop Green Eyes. And it's for the green eyes or people with green eyes, especially made for them. Um, however, so what if I don't have green eyes? I can use it if I want. So that's why I have it. So, um, what we're going to do is, I don't know the color, the name of these colors. It doesn't just come, blah, 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 blah. It really doesn't come with uh, any name. So I'm going to go ahead and in this palette, the Pop Green Eyes palette, I'm going to use that green, right? Oh, this is horrible. Okay, right here. I'm going to go ahead and use that green as my base color. And I want it all, pretty much all over. So, I'm going to go ahead and start putting it on the lid and up to my brow bone. Kind of my brow bone, but not really. You want to leave a little bit of space there. So, for the highlight.
and it's a really pretty shimmering green so I just go back and forth I'm sure my techniques are pretty bad so and I also go under the eye because I like all those different pops of color underneath the eye as well hey shh, stop everyone oh. okay I was gonna introduce you to my dog but she decided to be camera shy okay so you're gonna go ahead and make sure it's completely coated I'm gonna go up almost to the top, but not really. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a space there. And go underneath as well. You're gonna do the same thing for the other eye. We're gonna go over to my hip palette. Um, and I've had this for a while too, and I love the colors. It's kind of like a bluish greenish type color. Here, let me see if I can. First, I gotta find out how to open this. Okay, so it's a bluish greenish type color. If you can see that, it's really pretty. And then it's a matte, like navy blue. Oh, okay, I'm backwards. Okay, it's the matte navy blue. So those are the colors I'm gonna use from now on. Um, this is really cute to have. You can have these like little duo thingies, and it comes with underneath. You're gonna open up the bottom, and there's like a little mirror, which I never use, so I probably should start using. It's small for me for my taste I usually like like big mirrors but um yeah and it also comes with this little wand thing that I've never really used so um for my brush by the way I'm using just the basic stop I'm using just the basic um bare minerals essential brush the max coverage concealer brush um just because it works for other things too so I was like why well, just use it for one thing everyone my puppy Lonnie say hi Lonnie Okay, she's the one making all those scratchy noises if you heard them or not, so. Ooh, okay, that worked. I should have done that a long time ago. Anyway, so, oh, I thought I lost everything. So now that I have my base, you can see that. I love some space for the highlight color. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the, dang it, I can never open these things. We're going to go ahead and use the this color here, the bluish greenish color. And then you're going to add that a little bit above the um, eyelid. You're going to bring it down a little bit underneath as well. So you're going to go from the outer corner going in, you can pack it a little bit then brush it. And you're just going to kind of fade it out towards the top where the green is and blend it. And also go down underneath your eye. Oh my gosh, she's going to knock this mirror on me. What a crazy animal. So yeah, you're just going to keep blending it, blending it. You're going to blend it in with the green. You can blend it up to where the green ends because it kind of gets lighter as you go up. So it makes it look more like bluish green, which I like. So. And of course, I have the. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? In my head right now. So I went, as you can see, I went up along. Um, right above the eyelid and then I just blend it upwards and I put some underneath as well so we're gonna do the same thing for the other eyelid all right so now I'm using the same brush by the way I just clean it off as I go in between whatever's um now we're actually gonna use I don't know why I closed it because we're gonna use the same thing we're gonna use the matte uh, navy blue in this little palette thingy. Um, oh, by the way, this is Hip um, High Intensity Pigments Bright Shadow Duo in Shadowy, or I'm sorry, in Showy. 
number 224. So you can see there. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and use the navy. I got on my brush. And we're going to go ahead and do it in the corners around the eyelid. And then also on the eyelid, bring it in a little bit. So you're going to go in your outer corner. And this one, I would go ahead and pack it in first. You can just like start brushing it because it gets like the, the leftovers on your face easier. So just keep. And then you're going to bring it in. Oh, no, that's looking nice right now. So you're going to keep blending it. And also bring it down underneath. See? Alright, so now it's right here um, on top of your eyelid and also you're going to bring it in the corner of the eyelid and kind of blend it in with that green. Okay, so that's how it's going to look right now. And you're going to do the same thing for the other eye. Alright, so that's how it looks now. I'll also have some better photos when I'm done. Um, or I'll post some photos also when I'm done um, with a better lighting. My lighting is crap. And this camera is not really that great for some reason. But it's, it's a built-in on my Mac. So, so go back to that blue. This, this blue here. And just in the middle of your eyelid, kind of blending with the darker blue that you put in there earlier, and blending in with the green as well. So that's how it's going to look. And then you're going to do that for the same eye in the middle of the eyelid. Blend it in with the blue, the darker blue, and also the green that's in the inner corner. And blend it in with that as well. And that's how it looks. So, um, we are almost done with the eye colors. Actually, I lied. Bottom. Totally forgot. You also want to do that in the bottom. In the middle of your bottom, if you have a thin enough brush, this one can be thin, sometimes it causes problems, so if you have a thinner brush in the bottom middle of your lash line, I guess, go ahead and put a little bit of that blue in there as well. You get all the colors on the bottom lash line like you do on your top. It looks really pretty. At least I think so. So, you don't have to do this step. You can just get that one. 